Welcome back to the Kieran Carlin channel. The game weeks have gone all messed up. Okay, there's games all the way till Thursday from today, and it's disgusting and it disgusts me. But what doesn't disgust me is my previous selections. Let's have a quick rundown. I got four games wrong. I got four games right with two. I got five games right with two exacts. Well, that is in. That is my genius knows no bounds. You're welcome. Put a bet on all these ones coming up. This isn't financial advice. Because I'm going to be right. Okay, first up, we have Brighton Forest. Now, Brighton lost their last game 2-0 to Brentford. And I really didn't think they would. I tipped them to win. Um, did I tip Forest to win? No, I didn't. I got the Wolves result completely correct. Because it was always going to be 1-0. It's Wolves. I'm going to go for a Brighton at home, surely. They haven't won in the past three games. But everyone beats Forest apart from... Aston Villa, shock. Uh, with Gerard rumoured to have been sacked from one really unreliable publication. So we'll see how that plays out. But if I get Pochettino, which would be... I could do a video about that, but do I know enough tactically? No. Brighton 2, Nottingham Forest 0. Why they gave Steve Cooper a whole new contract, I do not understand. But here we are. Crystal Palace Wolves, Crystal Palace, very, only two wins, very topsy-turvy, but only two losses as well. Wolves, shit, still shit. Crystal Palace, oh, they appear like they're not doing too well in mid-table, but they've had an incredibly difficult start to the season. So they played Villa, then City, Brentford, Newcastle, lost to Chelsea, beat Leeds, drew a Leicester. I mean, if that's in the middle of the season, that's not a particularly terrible run like against some of those teams. So I'm going to go for Crystal Palace 2, Wolves 0. Bournemouth, Southampton. Oh my God, Gary O'Neill's tricky Bournemouth. I can't believe it. Or can I believe it? What an icon. Okay, I'm actually gutted I actually know his name now. But every time I go to say it, I'm like, is it, is it actually something like John Smith? He's killing it. I think I put I think I put Bournemouth to draw or win the previous game. I might put them to win, to be honest. They got a draw. Fair enough. Okay. They haven't lost in six games. Six games. I can't believe it. And they're against Southampton, who have lost <laughs> five out of seven games. So impressive. Really impressive from Hassan Hoddle. Oh, it's a derby though, isn't it? It's a South Coast derby, which no one will really care about. Oh, this is a hard one. For some reason, why I, I want to say Southampton will get the better of them. But oh, do I go with my gut or do I go with my nut? Oh, this is really... I'm going to go... I'm going rogue. I'm going two on Southampton. I, I, they, I, I don't, what is that based on? No logic. That, that doesn't make sense. Do I go against it? Um, I'm going I'm to go against it. And if I'm wrong... I'll prove a point to myself and I will always go with my gut. But this time, go with my nut and I'm going 2 on Bournemouth. Brentford, Chelsea. Brentford have only lost two games in the past seven, but they still they don't feel particularly... I don't know, they feel like they've gone off the boil a little bit, okay? Uh, to be fair, their only losses are to Newcastle and Arsenal. But, you know, they didn't beat Bournemouth. They didn't beat Palace. They didn't beat Everton. And I don't think they're going to beat Chelsea. To be honest, I think it's going to be a whopping ooh, nil three. I think I'll go nil two actually. Chelsea aren't that good. Chelsea have been really good under Graham Potter recently. They've just been steady. They've been strong. They've been stable. He's entirely unbeaten. They're fourth. They're only they got a game in hand, so they could be one point behind Tottenham and Manchester City. Graham Potter's tricky blues. They might get fourth. We'll see. There's a long there's a long way to go. Liverpool, West Ham, United. They have the exact same amount of wins, laws, and drosses. And drosses? Win <laughs> wins, laws and drosses. Laws and drosses in the past seven games. I think Liverpool are back. Okay, I'm gonna say it now. Liverpool are back. I thought it was only a matter of time. I knew it was still in them. Oh, we can't compete. No, it was just a bad run of form. You're fine. They can compete. I'm going to go 2-0 two, two Liverpool. I don't think West Ham are posing a threat. I don't think Skamaka will get his 
third goal or whatever it is, okay? He only has space to get five or six. I can't remember which number I said, but five or six in the entire league. And I'm going to be right, okay? He's used up too many of them too quickly. He's going to run dry. Newcastle, Everton. Newcastle, a team who are sixth. You know, they're doing all right. They've got 15 points. I feel like they could be doing better, though. They get so many draws. They drew against Man United, which I fully expected. Okay, that's why I got it in my results. They're drawing against the big teams at home and away. They have turned some into wins. They beat Brentford 5-1. They beat Fulham 4-1. So they're beating the, the little scrappers quite a lot at the bottom of the table. Apart from Bournemouth, because they're not little scrappers. Bournemouth are Europa League. Everton, two losses. Okay, against United and Tottenham, they're losing to the top teams. Oh, it's going to be a draw or a win for Newcastle. There's no Everton win here. I'm going to go for a draw. I think if Newcastle had Isaac, I'd go for Newcastle win. But I'm going to go for an Everton Newcastle one all. Scum versus Tottenham. A lot. They've got exactly the same form in the past seven games in a different order, but a pretty similar order. Oh, this is tough, this one. Tough. Tottenham have... They just have that really shit football, but get a result mentality. United have a bit better football, but they can't quite convert their chances. I reckon Man United's XG is going to be much higher than Tottenham's. But Tottenham could get the goal. They could be XG defying. Okay, which I always love an XG defying team, apart from when it's against us. Because um, it's just fun, isn't it? It's like, they shouldn't have won. But they did. It's like you've witnessed a statistical crime. I'm going to go for... I think I might go for United win. Or do I go with my... I'm going with my nut today. My nut says 1-1. My gut says 2-0 to United. Shocking. I know. Because I think Tottenham have scored in every game. Tottenham have scored in every game. So that would be a ridiculous scoreline. 1-1. Thursday's games. Okay, we've got two games. We've got a couple. We've got a couple morons battling it out for three points. Fulham Villa and Leicester City leads United. They're all scraping one win in the last seven between them, apart from Fulham, who managed two. Fulham Aston Villa. Oh, I think uh, Fulham finally had Mitro back in the last game, which made a difference, and they got the draw. Defensively, not great. Aston Villa. Is Steven Gerrard going to be in charge? I think he will be because it'll be odd to sack him on the Monday now rather than on just immediately. Like, that feels like an odd decision to make. But they could. It's not entirely out of the question, out of the realm of possibility. Uh, if they've got Pochettino in, there's a new manager bounce. But Fulham at home, and I checked their tickets, 80 quid to watch Fulham. That is insane. I just want to go down and film a vlog. I'll I could... I can take it off my tax return, so I will probably do it at some point. But 80 quid I looked for this game. Madness. That is absolute insanity. 2-1 to Fulham. And Steven Gerrard, if he hasn't been sacked by then, finally sacked. And finally, we come down to Leicester, Leeds United. Leeds United on... They've been on some on the poor end of some poor decisions lately or some all right decisions or perfectly fine decisions however you feel like when you get loads of decisions that are against you but they still might be right you feel like oh just give us a break and give us one even if it's wrong just give us one or two and i i i sympathize i empathize with that leicester they managed to not lose a game which was interesting the game though wasn't interesting against crystal Pass. that game wanted to you know i strongly considered a one-way ticket to Switzerland, but I didn't. I held on strong to come back and do some more predictions. I'm gonna go for, ah, uh, I don't see Lee's winning this one. Lee's will get one goal. Actually, I'm, I see, you can tell I'm not even convinced by that. I'm throwing myself off because I want Lee's to win. Okay, I want Lee's to get a point. I don't want to get relegated, I want to be fine. I don't think they're gonna score a goal. I think Leicester might get another win. The second win of the season, finally. It might be a convincing 2-0. I can't believe I've I can't believe I've done this. But I've done it. Watch out for me soon in a Chris MD video. Because I may or may not be in goal. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, you don't have to watch this video whenever it comes out because I will just react to it on here. Bye.